to uh cargo we are trying our cargo to the market. Now, people said, no, we have to drive cargo and whatever it is, is that we can see that we have a candlestick, which this candlestick that filled the week here, this week. Now, this candlestick that form here, this candlestick that form here, also give us a, a small move, which gives us what? Another uh, week also here. Now, we can see that we have a another strong move which is another kind of stick that's particular is this so when it gets here it gave us another week for this one so with that week the candlestick that forward closes this particular week Closes this particular week here. But as a trader who is dealing with the week, whenever you see a strong move with a like a strong move like this, a strong move like this with some penny penny parts will give us a week. Don't enter the market. This is not a week. This one is not a week, it's a, a, a stop loss hunting week. It's a stop loss hunting week, don't try. So we can see when the market gets to this particular level, or do we had a, another candlestick that form, but the market uh, what change direction, moving to the top. As a trader, these things all, this particular things that we are seeing is not a week that you will trade. Don't trade it. Don't trade it. These are not weeks that you trade. Well, what we talk about a week is that a week will give you a stronger a uh, pin, a stronger what a uh, penny side. That is a stronger week uh, line. So that's another thing. Then let's check about the movement. Okay, but before any question, I'll just explain about this area. Is there any question? Is there any question? No question from my site. No, not that much long like the previous ones here. So with this particular uh, week, never uh, be like uh, there is uh, the markets have shown as what a stronger move, like a stronger move, like the body here. So oh, I can place order. No, please don't do that. Don't do that. Always follow the what the rules governing the strategy. The rule governing the strategy is that whether the move is not that much long like this one whenever uh, the market give us a week like this a week like this we can trade it but whenever even the market is bigger like this is big like this but the week is something like something small don't enter the market we are expecting a week to be longer somehow like this or somehow at the middle like here, like here. So with this week, you can trade it. With this week, you can trade it. But always, if you are using a higher time frame, for a, a candlestick to move from this side to somehow this side, 
it's more than you making a like you even get more than five dollars depends on the what the dollar size that you are using so for this particular candlestick the one that will form to fold the week here to be able to read this particular point you have taken your profit in a sense that if the there will be economic situation or news that will affect the formation of the week here, which will turn it back you have taken your profit here already so for me to conclude and give you a solution or the question that you are talking about, what I'm trying to say is that always let the weak should pop out small like this. Don't follow the weak that are not showing. You can see the weak here is strong, is strong, it's out. You can see it. But this the one here is not that much strong. So please, that's it. Is there any question? Or is it clear? Is it clear at all, please? Is it clear? Hello? Yes, please. Is it clear? Yes, it's okay now. Yes, it's clear. Are you sure? Are you sure? It's clear. But let, yes, me, let me ask a question uh, from your screen. Okay. If you look at, if you look at, uh the the bullish bar the highest one on your screen right now we can see okay we can see that the, there is a short week under it and then there is a longer week at the top so with what yeah. you thought, with what you thought right now someone who wants to use this strategy yeah. may be try to go in for a buy yeah. because the person thinking that it will cover the next yeah. The next candle will cover the week, but as we can all see, yeah. we had a, we had a bearish candle which it came back. So how do we explain okay. that? So and then how do we trade that so that people don't okay. do mistake with this strategy? Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this particular question. Thank you. It's true. Someone will enter, and at the end of the day we started to start crying. Now, we trading week. For you to trade a week and get uh, something that we call profit or uh, yeah, in it, always check the movement of the market. Now, this is how I do my movement of the market. So I want you guys to see something. Uh, this particular thing, I don't want to teach it now. I want us to learn the candlestick Bible before we start it. But right now that you are asking a question, then I have to teach it before we get to it again. Now we have something we call a major, okay, let me use my pen, a major support zone and a minor support zone. You can see that uh, as at this side, this side, we have a major support zone. When the market gets here, there was a return. When this market here was trying to approach this particular line here, the market returned. So this should tell you that this particular zone is our major zone. And you can see, this is what you are talking about. This is the question that you are asking. Let me put a particular trend line on this so that we can all see it. I think let me use this. Oh no. This one is okay. Uh, so. Let me make the page a little bit for that. Play this the week that my brother, brother Eric and uh, Derek is talking about. This is the week or the candle that he's talking about. Now let let me zoom it to the last for you guys to see. So we can see that the place where I'm talking about about the major support zone, which is this side. 
if it happens that we draw a particular trend line, now let me draw a trend line for you guys to see what exactly caused the movement there. Something like this. So this is the exact one I'm talking about. This is a place. This is a place. And this is the candlestick that our brother is asking about. Let me put it behind so we can see it. I hope you guys can see the candlestick well. This is the one that our brother is talking about, this one. Please, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. So this is the candlestick that our brother is talking about, this one. This one. Oh, brother Eric. Hey, Derek. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put this particular line on it. Then we will use our trend line. The trend line. I can't hear the one talking. We will zoom it all and see where the trend line will touch on this particular zone. So let me put it on it. Now let me zoom it all. Let me zoom it all. So we something. We can see that our major support zone that we drew, let me use black here. When the market Death to this particular zone, the market started bouncing back. Why? Because this is our major support zone. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Major resistance zone. I'm sorry. It's called resistance. When it's at the top and the down, this one is the down spot. We'll be doing more about this. We do more about this. Huh. So we can see that when the market uh, when the market gets to the top, which is our major uh, support uh, uh, resistance zone, right? <laughs> when it gets to this particular zone, the market bounce back. And when the market started playing, playing, it will move to this zone. When it gets here, started approaching the line here, the market also bounce back before moving up. But when it moves up to this zone, it means it has reached our major resistance zone and the market has started falling again. So this is one technical thing that we also use in terms of what catching our entry point we'll be doing this more and more so what i just want to explain by the bounce before you be able to uh, use this particular weak field make sure you are in a trend uh, market when a market is trending that is when you can spot in it. Now, for you to be able to use it at a resistance zone to you, then you have to have your major resistance at the top. Major resistance at the top. You have to have your major resistance at the top and the major uh, support to at the down. So this bouncing can happen at the bottom too. It can happen at the bottom. So it's not only the top, which is the resistance that it can happen to. It can happen at the bottom too. So always let's get this in the mind. Let's get this in the mind. So this particular week that has formed with someone who knows what we call trend line, 
will not enter because that person is having his what? His or her major resistance zone. Meaning anytime that the market gets there, there will be a change in the direction. So you not you don't have to what? Enter the market because there is a strong move that I've given us a clue. So always trend line is something that we have to what? Respect to. So if you are someone that you are trading the week and the week in addition to how to, uh, the trend line, so this particular zone here, you know that it's a major uh, resistance zone. So you know that a major resistance simply means whenever the price or the market gets to this particular zone, this particular zone here, there will be a change. Either it will reverse it reverse down or it will cross it and test it a move or it will cross it and give us a condition and continue. We will be doing this more, 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 more. I'll explain this into detail in our next meeting. So the main reason why the market has stand there is the major support zone. And always try your best and know your major support zone. Major support zones are the zones that, eh, sorry. <laughs> why, 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 why? Know your major support and resistance zone. It can happen at the uh, support zone, which is at the bottom. Support normally happens at the bottom. Resistance always be normally is at the top. So what happened is that for you having your major resistance zone, whenever the market is moving, moving, whenever it's approaching, it can change or it will touch it and break it and give you a candlestick confirmation and continue the trend or it will move, 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 move and break it and retest it and continue. So, you, uh, almost all the major support zone is a zone whereby whenever price or a market is moving and it gets there, there will be a change in that particular market. There will be a change in that particular market. So the reason why the market changed there is that the market has reached its major resistance zone. That's with its major resistance zone. So always let's learn how to draw a major minor support and resistance zone. So please, that's it. That's the main reason why the market changed there. So my advice is that always trade weak flow in a trend market. A trend market is this particular thing that we are seeing here. This particular move, you can say that the market is moving upward. The market is moving upward. And when the market gives us a strong uh, move here, there was a small week that this particular, uh, okay, let me use. Let me use uh, this one. Oh, I want it to be big. Done. Okay. So we can see something here. You can see something at this side. When the market form a, a bigger move to this side, we had a small week here, and the, there was a, a another week that fell in. And you can see the market is not very predictable. I used to see, always I used to tell people that the market is not well predictable. So always know your risks to reward know what you are risking to achieve whatever you want. So you can see there was a change in the market, but there was another what, a candle that filled this particular zone here. 
and it continues with the feeling and feeling the market changes the same feeling 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 this one to its forms then it breaks down that but there was a, a candlestick that fill it and read the major resistance zone before the market starts changing the direction here we can see the same here it's form it fills it forms and it wasn't that much strong and it's full here too is form but this one this particular candlestick the smaller one here that's what i'm saying you guys shouldn't trade this type of what the candlestick that you are filling in so always don't fill in the candlestick that have a smaller move always fill in the bigger ones the bigger the move the big uh, the bigger the, 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 the fill in that will come. So the bigger the move, the bigger the candles will come to fill the weeks that has formed. So please, that's how it is. So please, there any question? Everything is clear for me. Oh, okay. Uh, Thank you. This strategy is cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's powerful. Uh, Please, is there, is there any question? Is it Mr. or Madam Adepa? Is there any question? Madam Abeta Aqua, Mr. Alfred, Brother Enoch. Is there any question? No, please. Okay. Mr. Alfred, Mr. Enoch, Mr. Eric, Madam Helen, Mr. Justice, and Prom Z. Please, there any question? We are okay. I'm okay for now. Are you sure? Yes. Are you Very sure? sure. For that teacher and i'm happy because the students either they are getting it or they are not getting it <laughs> by the way that's how the teaching and learning is so let's try to check up with our um with the let me see so we can see something here too you can see when the market move from this side and reach here, it turns down because we have our major uh, resistance zone there. I'll be teaching you how to draw the zones. I'll be teaching you guys how to draw the zone. I'll be teaching you, but it's helpful, it's helpful. So please, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. And we can see, this one too, from this side, the bigger the move, the week that has formed, the bigger the another move, the bigger the move, the market wasn't stable, but we have another feeling in. So that's how it is. You can see the market has changed this thing, but it's false in, false in, false in. I think this one is the three black switches that is forming. Uh, sounds like the cross, whatever. So please, that's how it is. So this strategy is a bonus strategy. This is a bonus. If you're able to stick to it, I want you guys to what? To practice it and test me. This is what I don't get. Oh, you're not like always uh, practice it yourself. Try to identify it. Try to, yeah, identify it. I don't use demo, like I'm not used to demo. Back at when I was blowing my account, that's why I started using demo to learn. But this time around, I don't have them. But always, I advise students or those that are learning that use the uh, the MT4 or five demo. That whenever you load the MT4 or five, it opens automatically. Use that one. 
or you can go to this side. We have a side on it whereby you can go and create your personal ones. Uh, you can go to the XNS, you can go and create your uh, demo. You can go, and, like any site, you can, that is a, a site that are good that you can open an account. Just like you have done a demo, like so it's only the demo that you want at that time. So practice the whatever that we'll be teaching here, practice it with your demo account. Whenever you know that, oh, now you have the confidence, you can uh, check your emotions and work with it. You can start with your live account. Always, XNS is number one. The only broker that can give you, that can allow you to trade with 0 0.75 US, USD. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Some brokers like the reef, even if you have 4.90, you, you won't be able to trade some of the commodities. So you have to know the market makers and the this thing. So please, that's it for today. And I want you guys to ask questions on the areas that you are not that much clear with. Is there any question? Is there any question? No question. Okay. Then I think that's it for today. That's my site. Then, brother Derek, you can continue with today's general meeting that we set up. If not to, we can call it a day. Uh, I think I think this one has already covered the general meeting. Oh, okay. You know, you know, the general meeting is usually to identify some of the challenges that uh, people have on either your session or on Brother Jack's session. So oh, okay. I believe very well that if there is any challenge or any question, anyone can put it in the group and then if we have to schedule a meeting either within the week, uh, the weekend, but you know the weekend usually is used for more research and more studies and all those things, but better still we can answer it sure. in, the, in the group. Yeah, so I think it's, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, but I think if uh, there is any question for me to answer for and a weekend, a great weekend for uh, what we call research, but we are still going to trade. What you call volatility in the 75 and 100, those that are doing the derive. So, please, this particular weekend is for research and uh, more practice. Practice the little that we did during the week. We didn't do much, but I think uh, we don't just stand up and jump and uh, touch the sky. We have to start from a pro. Uh, from one before to the another before we process to the the apex. Sorry, so that's it. So if no one have a question, then I think uh, we will call it a day. But I don't. Uh, you can chat me so that if I have a signal for volatility and boom and crash, then we manage the markets for the week. So. That's we, it. We we have we haven't. I don't think. Well, I don't know. But then, generally, I don't think anyone has idea about the uh, volatility or all those because we are only we only started with the currency pairs and the crypto, which is a, a BTC USD, and then the metals, which is the gold. Oh, okay. so we are mainly into the. Oh, okay. So I believe that should be something that you bring on board to for people who want to trade within weekends and those things. Okay, 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 okay. The main reason of me saying like, uh, those that are training is that see, 
most of the traders who have a what's the name um, who open an account with the broker called the Deriv. The Deriv broker offers uh, two particular uh, things that they trade. We have the volatility, which is the synthetic indices, and the fa uh, financial. The financial deals with the currency pair only, and the synthetic indices also deals with volatility, the step in this, the range band, boom and crash, and yeah. So I thought, like I thought if someone is having that particular account so that we can milk the market. But if not to, we we'll call it a day and talk about that later. Sure, maybe you have to introduce that to us another time. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I think that's it for today. Have a wonderful day. Hey, are you are you in America? We are in the night today. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> All right.